Hi, this is Jamie Davis here from Innovations in Patient Care and also for the EMS Today 2012 conference and especially here for the EMS 10 awards ceremony this year. The EMS 10 awards ceremony about innovation and unsung heroes in EMS. And I'm excited because my very first interview tonight is with Rob Lawrence. And Rob, you have really pulled together an amazing program called the Motorcycle Rider Alert Program in Virginia. However, it's really gone global in just a few months. Yeah, the uh, Rider Alert program is simply a card that goes inside the, uh, the rider's helmet and that contains details of the rider, their next of kin, their emergency um, you know, medical requirements if you like. Um, and that sits inside the rider's helmet as I say and then if they have what we are now calling in the trade an unscheduled dismount, then of course we in the EMS industry can uh, attend the rider, we can get remove the card once, once it's safe to do so of course, and then we have the information for a rider that can't communicate with us. Uh, and so far we are in 11 months into the program, we have produced and distributed 130,000 of them. Now that's 130,000, that's an amazing number for a, a, a national program, but you're just talking about within the state of Virginia primarily? No, no we, we, Virginia is our home state of course, okay. uh, as you can tell from my accent that uh, I'm uh, from uh, <laughs> From, from elsewhere, of course, but uh, I'm the, the Chief Operating Officer of the Richmond Ambulance Authority. Uh, we introduced the program along with a couple of our uh, sponsors, uh, Bon Secours Virginia and Motorcycle Virginia. Uh, from that sort of state beginning, we've now gone into uh, West Virginia, North Carolina, um, uh, Maryland, and, uh, and recently Arizona. Uh, and we're also talking to um, the, the Blue Knights of Australia, the Blue Knights of Canada, and also the Swedish Motorcycle Club. So this has really gained international global legs uh, in the last 11 months. And the thing that impresses me the most about it is, of course, you have this card, and then you also have the sticker that goes right on the helmet. Yeah, and it's so it alerts any EMS provider. So if someone were traveling across the country and they were to look at this video and watch this and say, oh, I see that sticker on a helmet, they can understand that using appropriate procedures, they can carefully remove the helmet, and then this card is inside with the information, uh, all that information all the contact information and when you've got that motorcycle injury that is often so severe the patient can't communicate well with you you've got the ability to find out pertinent emergency information right away in, in a rather low-tech fashion which makes it the perfect global solution for people that are riding motorcycles everywhere Absolutely right. I mean, it's, it's firstly, it's a two-part card, of course. The card that we talked about goes in the helmet. The second piece uh, is the small little decal that goes on the outside of the helmet. And the interesting thing about it, and a lot of people say, is it says, do not remove helmets. And the reason for that, of course, is that it's our job to remove the helmet. It's a pre-hospital trauma life support skill. It takes two people. It's something that you need to be trained in doing. And so therefore, we'd rather we remove the helmet rather than a very good natured bystander coming along and you know hauling the helmet off. And of course, there goes C-spine. And so therefore, it, it serves two purposes. It tells us there's a card in there and it tells the bystander not to remove the helmet. Uh, and uh, it has worked for us already. And, and you know, we're talking about, uh, I think, your information here, 70 some fatalities a year in Virginia, uh, numerous crashes. So we've got a lot of injuries and those numbers really, I think, translate well all over the country per, per, per capita. Uh, it's a, it, this is an important initiative and it's interesting to see that it's being uh, picked up and, and utilized so well. Well, we, we're all about promoting motorcycle safety. It's not just about the, the you know, after the, the fact and the crash. Across the United States, 4,000 motorcyclists a year perish. Now that's about seven and a half jumbo jets full of people. If we had seven and a half jumbo jets crash, the, 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 there would be outrage, <laughs> everything would be grounded, and we wouldn't do anything until we made it safe. That's the, 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 the level of death toll on the roads, and therefore this, this goes some way towards helping us help those people that need us, but also goes some way towards helping motorcyclists think about their own safety and, and just take that extra precaution, that extra piece of equipment, that extra, you know, the next mark of helmet, for example, then we may reduce that number. And it, it's interesting how you've built partnerships and forged alliances to distribute the cards and the information about them. I noticed that you uh, utilize the Safe Rider program or whatever that um, might be in your state. Uh, they can distribute those cards to new motorcycle. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there are two aspects. Firstly, this card is free to the rider, and that's because we go out and get sponsorship. Uh, everybody from the American Automobile Association, uh, other, other big names have come in to sponsor the cards. The only cost is in card production. Um, and so therefore we're then able to make it free to the rider. 
There's no registration. There's no data held in any database anywhere. There's no USB sticks or anything with information that can be compromised. The second part of that, of course, is we've certainly gotten in with the Virginia Motorcycle Rider Training Programs, and therefore we're now giving those programs these cards. Every new rider gets a card presented to them on completion of the program, which then goes in their helmet, which helps them to think about safety. Well, it's really an exciting program, and I'm, I'm so uh, grateful that someone nominated you for your EMS 10 award. Uh, real quickly, tell us a little bit about what your thoughts are about this program, this EMS 10 EMS Innovator Awards program. I think it's an excellent thing because it is a, a shop window into what's new, what's important, what's of course innovative. And if uh, you know people are watching this and realise that ah oh, that's something I'd like to do, then of course you know I'm certainly here to be the subject matter expert on this particular piece. There will be others uh, that you'll interview today as well. But this gives them everybody the chance to to, to listen to, to to have a think for a second or two about what innovation is and, it, and how they can incorporate it into their system. And I think if we can do that, we've mission accomplished and we've passed the message. And it really is about if you have a good idea, not being afraid to, to work out a way to implement it. Absolutely, and there is, there's no such thing as a bad idea. And uh, you know, f our program is a piece of card, but when it's used effectively, has already saved lives, and that's the that's the most important thing. Well, Rob, congratulations! Thank again you very on much. Your award. And I want to remind everybody, you can find out a whole lot more information and innovations in patient care on the podcast. You'll be able to download this via iTunes. Uh, you can also check out links to this video on YouTube and find other videos and audio programs on EMS 10 innovators around the web. Mm -hmm.